What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to look at a recent update or feature update that Trading212 has implemented. But before we get into today's video, as always, if you're new around here, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we're currently 45 subscribers away from our next goal of 400. So with all that being said, let's dive right onto Trading212. But before we get into today's video, I just want to show a quick update on how my portfolio is doing overall. We are currently sitting at about 4,464 euro. We are up about 4% since yesterday, at a total up of about 5.28% in the green, equating to about 220 euro or so, which is about 260 or 70 dollars. We can see quickly here as well, just the pies, my 12 pies, mostly are in the green, if not all. The communication services is up 6.94%, consumer discretionary up 4.5%. Consumer staples up 3.3, energy is up 0.72%, ETF is up over 6%, financials are currently up 1.13, my healthcare pie is up just under 3%, industrials is up nearly 3% also, materials is up over 1%, real estate is pretty much a break even, just at 0.02% in the red, technology, my biggest position so far is currently up 103 euro or 10.39% and finally my utility pie is up 6.5%. So you can see even from yesterday's video that a lot of my stocks and pies have went up in value about 4% overall and that's got to do with the volatility in the markets due to the US presidential elections which are currently underway. Like for example yesterday here we were up about 2%, 2.5% and now we're up to over 5.5%. So in terms of buying more this week I won't be buying more. I'll be kind of building up more of a cash reserve that I mentioned in yesterday's video. And once the markets start to go back to normal and go back down to their fair value, then I'm going to start buying a lot more to improve my dollar cost averaging. So the update or feature that Trading212 have implemented yesterday or a few days back is the introduction of their 212 hot list, the most popular stocks on Trading212. So you probably got a notification yourself if you have a brokerage with Trading212. And if you click on the link here, that you'll be brought to this website or link. It shows the leaderboard from 1 to 100, top 100 stocks in terms of accounts that hold that position. And then we also have the risers and fallers. But firstly, let's look at the trading 2 on 2 leaderboard in terms of the top 10 companies that their holders use. And obviously it's worth noting that you shouldn't just buy a company or stock based off the leaderboards on trading 2 and 2. You should always do your own due diligence to ensure that you're making the right decision with your own capital. Now, this is the newest feature that Trading 2 and 2 have implemented alongside, let's say, their fractional shares, their pie feature, auto invest, being able to now move between pies. So you're able to put stocks between different pies now as well. That was their newest feature. And now on top of that, they have the 2 and 2 hot list. So it's always great to see stockbrokers adding new features and updates really they are starting to become kind of their in their own at the moment in terms of definitely kind of your free stock brokers they're definitely ahead of the game miles ahead of like let's say the giro etc which seem to be kind of falling behind so firstly we look through the leaderboard at the top 10 companies that trading two and two accounts hold at the moment the top one is tesla which currently nearly ninety five thousand accounts have which is kind of no surprise we then have apple amazon bp Neo, Microsoft, The National Grid, Netflix, Lloyds Banking, and Under Armour. There is other leaderboards as well, but besides the overall one, you can see here, for example, the top risers. And what I find very interesting here is that you can filter by, let's say, the one hour, four hour, eight hour, one day, seven days, and 30 day charts. So, just for the sake of this video, we look at the one day chart and we can see companies here. The top mover in terms of positions held in accounts is Neo. It's up 2,765 accounts today alone, with, which is up 7.1%. So it started before market open today at just under 39,000 accounts and is now up to 41,732. And as well as the risers, we can see fallers. And in the one day chart, I'm quite surprised to see a lot of the big tech companies such as Facebook, which is currently down 449 accounts or 1.77%. We then have Apple in second place in terms of fallers, then Microsoft, 
we have Xping and Amazon in fifth position. And you see we can go the whole way down and it goes down to about 100 stocks at the moment. Now obviously I can't stress enough that you need to do your own due diligence before diving into any investment, especially when you're risking your own capital. Like for example, there, it's kind of stupid in a way to let's say just buy the top company here because it's at the top of a leaderboard. Like you shouldn't kind of follow the market either as such because you can get caught into traps. But why I find this kind of leaderboard useful is because I've started to find new opportunities even by let's say looking at some of these companies like when you scroll down the list a lot of names start to become more unfamiliar in comparison to let's say Tesla or Facebook or Apple for example and I did find that I'll make a video a separate video on this on some companies that I kind of found there is definitely some opportunity here in terms of kind of market potential in the coming years uh, I don't really do kind of quick get rich kind of growth stocks I kind of focus more on the blue chip trend tested more slow probably less exciting companies but in the long term they definitely do kind of make up for that so i found some companies as i said that i, I might start talking about in separate videos as well in terms of companies that i might add into let's say an additional pie even what i had is the youtube pie i could start putting one or two of these companies into there so let me know what you think about that as well so with all that being said guys that's just a quick update that i wanted to share with you today just on a recent update that Trading 2 and 2 have implemented. And again, it's definitely not a world changer by any means, but it's certainly interesting to know and to be able to access these leaderboards and top risers and fallers. It might give you some um, ideas and even some opportunities to get in on some stocks that might be under or overvalued. So if you liked this video, if you found it any way helpful, it'd be brilliant if you could smash that like button. And as always, if you're new around here, it'd be brilliant if you could subscribe to this channel as well as we're about 45 subs away from our next big goal. So with all that being said, that brings the end to today's video. Thanks very much guys, and tomorrow we'll be doing my weekly trading 2 and 2 portfolio update. Thanks very much, enjoy the evening, and I will talk to you tomorrow.